Welcome everybody back to Tales from the Flip Side, the comic shop talk show. So we talked about uh, in the past, you can go back and look at the original video of it on Overstreet Access, which is a website. And now I don't know when it came out, but I just found it uh, recently is the Overstreet Access app. This is a really great tool. I know a lot of people are stuck on Key Collector. A lot of collectors are using CLZ, but you might want to take a look at Overstreet Access, especially if you're a retailer. And that's what we're here to talk about as retailers, right? And so just for an idea, like this is one thing that always causes me a problem, Maximum Carnage. In the Maximum Carnage series, it's actually through all of the Spider-Man books. I can never remember what issues are what issues. Well, oh, I need issue five of the Maximum Carnage series. I don't know what book that's in. Is it in Web of Spider-Man? Is it in Spider-Man? Is it in Spider-Man Unlimited? I don't know. So the great thing about Overstreet Access, you can go to a story arc. While looking up the story arcs, it'll show you every issue and then what comic they're in. So all the tie-ins, everything is there. Really great tool as a retailer. The other thing is, is now that they are able to purchase your books as a retailer, the people who are looking at the Overstreet Access, and there is a free version for everybody. Uh, they can be on an app and be looking up books, and they're gonna be able to purchase them directly from you, and you can ship them out. And currently, there is no charge. So this is something that Overstreet Access, through the parent company Diamond, is uh, doing to for retailers to optimize their sales. Now, People do not know about it that much yet. Uh, this this show has, I it is not sponsored at all by Diamond. It is not sponsored by Overstreet Access. I am just constantly looking for tools to sell my books that do not move locally because I do not have enough traffic. So this is looks like this may be a great uh, place to to try out. Uh, like I said, I was very happy with TCG Player until they closed it down. I have not been happy with HIP. Uh, I don't like the notifications. I don't seem to get a lot of traffic. But this Overstreet Access may be the next new thing. So one of the hard things I have is uh, finding books that are story arcs that are not in, this, in the one published book that jump around. The easiest one is Maximum Carnage. So it shows you that there's 14 issues. You click on the, four, the 14 issues. You click read more and it'll come down and it'll show you all the books in order and what titles they were in. So the first book of course is Spider-Man Unlimited number one. But then we jump to Spider-Man number 35 and then Web of Spider-Man 101, then Spectacular 201 uh, then Amazing 378. So a lot of people will come in and they know it is Maximum Carnage and they want issue five. So you don't know which one is issue five. You just go down one, two, three, four, and there's five. So they're looking for Amazing Spider-Man 378. They're not, they are looking for Maximum Carnage, the fifth issue in the series, but it goes across a lot of different books. This is a great feature. I can never remember which books are in which order. Um, this is just such a great, the story arc piece is fantastic. And it goes through the entire, entirety of the whole set. You know, I've said this, I think 12 times during the show, but if you're a retailer, you get this for free. Now, if you sign up, they're going to add your address to this retailers portion where somebody, when they're on vacation, they're like, Hey, I want to find a comic book shop. You're gonna put in the uh, zip code, my zip code, 12771. And there is two, Bob's, uh, there's a bunch, but we're the second one on the list. It's funny that we're second, it must be alphabetical. Yeah, it looks like it's alphabetical. They're able to zoom right in and find you. They can pick Haven for Heroes, it'll zoom right in. And then I, it looks like it'll connect right to maps and directions, can send it from anywhere. 
It shows you exactly how to get to your shop. So really cool extra thing. It costs you nothing, no money to be somewhere where people can find you. So if nothing else, if you don't want to put your collection on there, if you don't want to use it to, to sell uh, throughout the country online for free, people can find you. Uh, yeah, it's going to give some of your competition in the local area. Competition is good. You want competition. People say, hey, there's you know, four comic shops in a 50 mile radius. I'll make a trip there and then I can go to all the comic shops. And then it's about being the best, right? That's all it's all about. So that's another reason why you should definitely go to the website. There's a section where it says retailers. You click on that. It'll say, if you're a retailer, send an email to this address. It's retailers at uh, overstreetaccess.com, I think. And you just send that information and they'll hook you up with a, uh, a log on and uh, you'll be ready to go. I'm on the website right now. And what I'm showing you is the different levels for your customers to get them involved so that they can see what you have in stock. They have a free version, which accesses the browse comic database and view basic data, as well as metadata about publishers, titles, issues, story arcs, characters, and contributors. Then there's a bronze level. I know you can see this, but I'm gonna read through it anyway. You can view pricing information and access to special editorial content. Once you move up to the silver level, it's gonna add issues to want list, access to collection management, uh, one collection you're allowed to have, up to 5,000 issues. Ability to add preferred retailers and access to the mobile app. So you can't use the mobile app unless you're on the silver level. Then the gold level, is going to add discounts to other uh, GFE products coming soon. Uh, that's the uh, Gem Publishing Company. Uh, so that makes Overstreet, which is also owned by Diamond. But retailers get all of this for free. You get the mobile app and you get the compute on the computer and you can add to your collection. You can either go back to watch the other video or I'll just quickly show you that uh, this is to show all my issues. I only have 100 and, uh, what, 33 issues on here right now. We're alphabetizing our stuff. I have an employee working on alphabetizing all of our comics, and I'm gonna try to literally get all my comics on this, this app. It's real simple, you just add, you can write the collection name, the owner name, and then notes, and then you can just start putting in titles from there. It's a pretty uh, easy website, can edit right there, what you do have, which you can remove books, that is going to be the most complicated thing for us because it's not tied to the POS so that as you scan comics and sell them, they won't take them out of your inventory. We're going to figure out a way to do that, taking stuff out of inventory by keeping track of what we sell. Not in our dollar bins, of course. We're not going to track the dollar bin books, but in the, our major back issues. But I would suggest that if you're in this business, this is a tool that can be incredible if you can get your customers to sign up and sign on. Yeah, you're not getting any of the monthly fees from the silver level, which would give them access to the app. Also access to the one section that's most important, the ability to add preferred retailers. So they only get access to that at the silver level. $5 a month, $60 a year. Might it be tough for them? Maybe. You might get some customers that sign on, but people are gonna sign on across the country, and then this is gonna, you're gonna be able to ship books all over the country and sell some of your back stock that's just sitting around. We may actually add this website to our kiosk, and people can switch over and then just view our collection if we can figure out a way to kind of lock that website down where they're not able to kind of like start searching the internet. Hey, if uh, Overstreet Access is listening, add a kiosk part portion so people can have it in their shops and show all their books through your access. Like in the other uh, tutor the tutorial that we had before, you saw all the different pieces that we had. We went through adding stuff. We went through the whole website. I'm not gonna bore you with going through it all again, but just remember Overstreet Access is out there and they are creating a place where dealers can sell their books across the nation. And there's not a lot of people signed up. 
I don't know if you know about business and early adoption. There are a lot of other apps out there and there are a lot of different websites out there. But if you already have a diamond retailer account, this is free for you. They do not take a percentage on the books you, you sell, not currently. I'm, I'm sure if it becomes a lot of uh, processing because people can pay, uh, you can add uh, your payment information uh, onto your account. So that means that they're gonna be able to pay and collect through here. I haven't done it yet. When I do do it, you'll see it. Uh, we'll we'll uh, definitely go through the, what that process was like and if it was a good process or a bad process. But I wanna get the word out there about this again. If nothing else, you can use it to look up because yes, Key Collector is very good about key issues. And now that you, you can turn off keys and you can see all, but they still don't have everything. There's still a lot of stuff especially any weird stuff. Once you get farther back into the uh, 30s, 40s, and 50s, there's some stuff that they're just missing, but this has everything. This has everything. It's sort of like I had been using Comic Book Realm to find all the stuff I couldn't find or not know how to find in Key Collector. Now I'm using Overstreet Access, and I've been really, really happy with it. There's 678 pages of, of, of just publishers. If we just go into the publisher tile, just, uh, it, it is like publishers I've never heard of. Uh, they don't even have scans of some of their, their logos because these, these companies are so tiny. But they just, they just have them all. Yeah, no, there's 678 publishers. There's 29 pages, my bad. You just pick a page, go to it and you know, big wow art. Black Bull, now Black Bull, that was uh, Wizards Publishing Company for comics. Blackthorn, I got a lot of Blackthorn books. They did all those great 3D books in the 80s. Broadsword Comics, Boundless Comics, those are, uh, I know Boundless is uh, like the adult stuff. I don't even know if that's, that's on Key Collector. You get those from time to time in collections. But <clears throat> it looks like it's gonna be the most comprehensive one out there. I'm a big fan of it. I'm gonna try it out. If it crashes and burns, I'll let you know. But if it's really successful, I'll also let you know. I think early on, I don't think there's a lot of buyers uh, on there. I'll let you know about that also. But I'm gonna be pushing people to join up so that uh, I can sell more books on there. And you know, the most important thing, you know, keep reading comics and open a comic store.